Kamusta mga tropa? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mark Moore and today is New Bike Day. Two years ago, I unboxed my very first brand new bike frame. Now today, this is a whole bike. At excited na ako. So una, amoyin muna natin. Mmm, amoy box. So this is it. Um, isa isa na natin. Mmm, may bago. Of course. Let's get the dropper post. Oh. Alright, so this is the dropper post. Haba. I think this is 150mm. It's so cute the front package. Alright, so that's the front wheel. Wow, it's a big 29er. Ah, it's not even the rotors. Okay, so it's okay. So out of the box. As you can see, nakakabit na yung fork. Nakakabit na rin yung stem. Ang nakahiwalay lang ang handlebar, the front wheel. Here, ito yung dropper post. So yun lang man nakahiwalay. The rest is nakakabit na. Pukusan ko lang yung crank arm para may lagay ko sa stand. Wow! SRAM SX. Yeah! Lagay ko dito sa walk-in bike stand. Kasha ba? Yun no? Kasha. Yun no? Kasha mabigat yung harapan no? Yan. Nice and secure naman kasi may foam. Okay, so medyo delikado yung surgical knife. Kaya magunting muna tayo. Pero ang goal ko is makakabit muna yung gulong para tumayo siya ng maayos. Pag ganun. Let me... Oh, may rubber band. So yung lower leg niya is covered ng parang cardboard. Just need this plastic cut. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me lower siya. Okay, so this is my first time talaga na mag-unbox uh, ng buong bike tsaka mag-assemble out of the box. So I'm gonna take this slow para ma-experience nyo rin kung ano ba ang kailan nagigigil ako. Hmm, yan. So this is the handlebar. Hindi ko alam kung anong buunahin ko eh. Pero bahala na. Yan, talagang protected itong bike na. Kapakaganda ng packaging. Yan, yung head badge. Of course, GT. Tanggalin ko yung handlebar muna. Okay, tapos, I'm gonna need to loosen up this, the stem. Kasi kakabit ko yung handlebar. I'm gonna need my multi-tool. The grips, uy. Sarap ng grips. Sarap hawakan. Yan. Let's see, let's see. Sige, para lang ma... Makita natin yung buong bike dahil nakatayo na siya. So, let's unveil the fork. And there you go. So, it's a combination of red and blue. Eh, blue and red. You know, GP. Um, Alright. So, mukha na siyang bike. Kailangan ko lang ikabit yung rotor sa harapan. Pati yung seat post. So, fabric. Kasi na saddle. Paano ko ito ikakabit? So, inside the box, mayroon pa isang box. So, we have the biker's manual. Yung rotor, Tektro rotor na 203 millimeters. The remote, proper seat post cable. And we have a sticker. Tapos mga reflector which we don't need. So, ikabit na natin itong dropper seat post remote. Lagay ko muna yung seat post. So, this is the remote. So, temporary lang ganyan muna siya. And voila! There's the cable. I mean, the housing. Kakabit natin ito sa... Ayun. Diba? Ayun. Ayun, no? Alright, 
So this is my 2021 GT Force 29 Elite. So this bike is designed for enduro, all mountain riding, na pwede rin pang free ride or bike park rides. Ang size na napili ko ay medium. Dahil based sa geometry, ito ang swak sa aking riding. So as mentioned, ang wheel size ito ay 29 inches. Ang frame material ay aluminum. At kitang kita nyo naman ang rear triangle ay talagang well built at reinforced. So the frame also features a molded chainstay protection that could be improved. Also lock our pivots to keep the linkages nice and secure. Ang rear travel nitong bike ay 150mm. At para maging nice and plush ang ride, ang rear shock ay ang Fox Float DPX2 Performance. So this features a 3 position lever, through nyan mounting, at para sa mga gustong malaman, ang kanyang sukat ay 185mm by 55mm. At syempre up front ay ang Marzocchi Bomber Z1 with the grip damper. Ang fork nito ay may 44mm offset. By the way, para sa mga di nakakaalam, ang Marzocchi ay gawa rin ng Fox. Dahil few years ago, binili na ng Fox ang Marzocchi. Kaya basically, if you own a Marzocchi fork, para ka na rin naka-Fox. Anyway, ang travel nitong fork ay 170mm. By the way, tapered ang headset nitong bike with 1.125 inches sa taas at 1.5 sa baba. Ang nakakabit na headset ay ang FSA No. 42. Out of the box, ito ang cockpit setup. Ang handlebar ay GT Alloy Riser with 30mm rise, 780mm na lapad na may 31.8 clamp diameter, 5 degrees up sweep at 8 degrees back sweep. Ang stem ay GT Alloy na rin with 45mm na length. One of the favorite parts of the bike ay ang fabric fun guy na grips. Dahil masarap ito sa kamay na kahit wala kang gloves, makapit at masarap hawakan. Para naman sa brakes ang nakakabit sa bike, out of the box ay ang Tektro M745 na 4 piston brakes. Ang rotors ay 203mm up front at 180mm naman sa likod. Para sa drivetrain, naka 1 by setup ng bike featuring the SRAM SX Eagle 12 speed technology. So SRAM SX Eagle shifter, rear derailleur, chain, cogs, at crank set na naka SRAM SX Eagle 32 teeth at SRAM the bottom bracket 73mm BSA threaded. Para sa wheel set, ang rims ay ang WTB ST i29 TCS 2.0. 32 holes at out of the box, this is tubeless ready. Kaya ang kailangan mo na lang talaga ay sealant at valves. Dahil maganda na ang pagkaka tubeless ready ng rims na ito. Para naman sa hubs, formula front and rear. 110 by 15 mm boost front and 148 by 12 mm boost sa rear na naka Shimano HG driver. Isa pa sa nagustuhan ko sa bike out of the box ay ang kanyang mga gulong. Up front ay ang Maxxis Minion DHF EXO 29 by 2.5 inches. Sa likod naman ang Maxxis Minion DHR2 XO 29 by 2.4 inches. Dahil normally ito talaga ang tire combinations na ginagamit ko na alam ko na ginagamit rin ang karamihan. Ang saddle naman ay ang Fabric Scoop Shallow Sport with Steel Rails na nakakabit sa GT Dropkick Dropper na may 125mm na travel. Seat post diameter ay 31.6mm. What I also like about the bike compared to my GT Sanction Pro, meron na itong space for a water bottle. Couple more awesome features about the bike ay ang LTS suspension design na talagang subok na ni GT simula pa nung nag-umpisa ang mountain biking era. And of course, the geometry adjustable via flip chip. So by flipping the chip, this will adjust the head tube angle by half a degree. So choice mo kung mas gusto mo ang pedal efficient o mas aggressive na geometry ng bike. And last but not the least, ang external cable routing. Para sa karamihan, mas gusto nila aesthetically ang internal cable routing. Pero para sa akin, and mag-a-agree din dito, I'm sure, ang mga mekaniko ng mga bike shop, mas maganda ang external cable routing. Dahil mas madali ang maintenance at the way GT designed their external cable routing, hindi naman siya mukhang madumi. Mukhang malinis pa rin ang itsura ng bike. By the way, the bike retails for 177,000 pesos SRP. So that's my 2021 GT Force Elite 29er. Ready to shred the trails right out of the box. Depende na lang if you're like me na meron mga preference in terms of cockpit setup and drivetrain. In terms of looks, I really love the geometry and yung tindig ng bike. 
In terms of colors naman, blue at red happens to be my favorite colors. Kayo, let me know in the comment section what you liked about the bike. And if you were to upgrade the bike, ano ang uunahin mo at bakit? Kaya in next video about the GT Force, abangan kung magkakaroon tayo ng upgrades. Sa next video about this bike ko na ipapakita ang first ride ko. Kayo mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, please hit the subscribe button kung gusto nyo mapanood yun. At kung nagustuhan yung video, please hit the like button as well. Dahil napakalaking kulong na ito sa channel. Shout out kay Kuya Romy from Daharan, Saudi Arabia who's almost 60 years old and still shredding. I hope to meet and ride with you pagdating mo dito sa Pilipinas. Shoutout sa tropa ko sa ECTV. Kung may motor kayo, subscribe na kayo sa bagong channel niya na ito. Shoutout to RN Adventures. Padyak Damam, Saudi Arabia. Shoutout also kay Jongski MTB, isang hardcore hardtail rider. Kaya check out nyo na rin ang kanyang channel. Shoutout to Jamark Wafu and the viewers from Abu Dhabi. And of course, Shout out also to Raymond Abiba. Thank you very much for watching and as I always say, it's more fun on the trails. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you in the next video.